In this tutorial, we will show you how to prepare a Revit model with multiple zones for daylight analysis in Velux Daylight Visualizer. A zone is in this case a custom plane on which the daylight availability is analysed. Following the European standard on daylight EN17037, the zone is required to be at a height of 850mm above the relevant floor area and 500mm from the nearest walls. We can create such a zone by using the conceptual mass option in Revit. First, make sure that you can view masses in Revit. Do this by going to View and select Visibility Graphics, or simply select the shortcut VG on your keyboard. Now go to the Model Categories and ensure there is a tick in Mass. Now click Apply and return to the model. We can now view and place masses, which will act as our daylight zones. To create a mass in Revit, go to Massing and Site. Select In Place Mass and give it a name. I will call it Zone 1. Then hit OK. You can now draw a mass. Choose the Rectangle tool and define and set the offset to 500mm from the walls. Then draw the contour of your daylight zone. Revit works with three-dimensional coordinates and our mass therefore needs to have a small thickness. Click Create Form, then Solid Form. Now we can make cutouts for the columns so they won't falsely affect the daylight results. Do this by drawing around the columns with an offset of 500 millimeters. Select the mass and click X-ray. This allows us to see the contour lines of our cutouts. Now go to a 3D view to see the contour lines for the cutouts. Select the contour lines and then create a void by clicking Create Form then Void Form. Now simply extrude the void to cover the entire solid mass. Then finish the mass. We now have a mass, however the top surface is not in the correct height and the last step is thus to minimize the thickness and make sure that the top surface of the mass is in the correct height to represent our daylight zone. Go to a section view and edit the mass. You can either use these blue arrows or click Edit in Place to more accurately transform the mass. Here I give it a thickness of 2 mm and set the top height to 850 mm above the floor. Then click Finish Mass and we now have our first daylight zone. It is 500mm from the interior walls with cutouts for the columns and placed 850mm above the relevant floor area. You may add multiple zones by simply repeating the previous steps. By default, Revit exports materials based on their model category, like wall, window, floor, etc. However, if we want Revit to export multiple masses as different layers, then we can utilize a trick where we give the masses different transparency. To change the transparency of a mass, you need to select the mass and click Edit in Place. Now select the mass again and go to Properties and click on the three dots from Material. Then you can create a new material by clicking the sphere with the blue cross in the bottom of the window and selecting Create New Material. Give your new material a name by right-clicking and select Rename. I will call this material Zone Underscore One. Then I will set the transparency to 10. Remember, it does not matter what you set the transparency to as long as it is different for every mass. Then click Apply and OK. Now we can simply do this for the other masses as well. The same can be done for floors, walls, ceilings or any model category in Revit. Now say we want to have two different floors in these rooms. 
we just need to change the transparency of one of the floors. Select the floor and go to Properties and click Edit Type. Then create a new floor by duplicating the existing one. Now locate Construction and Structure. Click Edit. Select the three dots from Material. Then you can create a new material by clicking the sphere with the blue cross in the bottom of the window and selecting Create New Material. Give your new material a name by right-clicking and selecting Rename. I will call this material Floor underscore 2. Then I will set the transparency to 10. Then click Apply and OK. The two floors now have different transparency and can therefore be exported as different materials. Velux provides an extensive library of 3D models. This model uses Velux's Northlight roof windows. To find this and other Velux products, go to www.bimobject.com. Create a user or sign in to an existing one. Then search for Velux and browse through the products. To download a 3D model, simply select the desired product and click Download. Choose a file format and click Download again. Velux BIM objects come with the option to customize multiple object properties. To change these properties, simply select the BIM object, in this case, the Northlight roof window. Then go to Object Properties and click Edit Type. From here, you can change multiple settings, like materials, dimensions and much more. You can, for example, add roller blinds by clicking the box Roller Blinds. The roller blinds have now been added to the model. Now I will show you how we can export our multi-zone model from Revit. First, make sure your active view is in 3D. Then go to File, Export, Mouse over CAD Formats and select DWG. Then go to Modify Export Setup by clicking these three dots. From here, we can define how we want our model to be exported. We can, for example, Change the layer names which act as materials in the Velux Daylight Visualizer. Start by going to Export Layer Options and choose Export All Properties by Layer and create new layers for overrides. Then go to Load Layers from Standards and choose the British Standard 1192, BS1192 or load your preferred settings from a custom-made file. Velux Daylight Visualizer automatically defines a layer as a zone if the layer's name is starting with W underscore. Since we made our zones using masses in Revit, we can go to the Export Setting category, Mass, and change the export layer name to W underscore zone. Velux Daylight Visualizer will thereby automatically identify the masses as zones. It is possible to define the zones later if you choose to skip this step. Under Model Categories, locate Mass. Expand by clicking the plus. Now simply type W underscore zone in Mass and Form. We can do the same for any type of model category and thereby decide the export name for every material. Let's say we also want the floors to be exported as floor instead of A230M floor. For this model category, we need to change the finish. Expand floors by clicking the plus and write floor next to the finishes. OK we're now ready to export our Revit model. After importing the DWG model to Velux Daylight Visualizer, check to see if the scale is correct. If not, you can scale the model by using the Scale function in the bottom of the window. 
Then go to Surface and set the reflectance and transmittance for all materials. The element names follows the export structure defined in Reddit. We changed the export layer name for the floor and masses in Revit and we can now see the result. The floor layers are named floor and masses are named W underscore zone with a numerical suffix to differentiate between multiple entities. We can change the reflectance by setting an element and define color with RGB values. The Location tab lets us define an orientation and location. We can either change the orientation with a numerical value or by moving the arrow in the middle of the screen. We can set the location here by choosing from the drop-down menu or entering a coordinate. The Camera tab lets us choose between different views. For this demonstration, I will go with a plan view at a height of 850 millimeters. The last tab is the Render tab, which lets us set up the render specifications. For example, we can choose to render Daylight Factor for both the camera view and for our zones. Here we can see the resolution and render quality. Choose what you want to render. I will go with both camera and zone, and then just hit Render. We can view the results with either ISO contour lines or with false color, and we can change the legend. This view presents the camera results. To view the zone results, simply click Zones and browse through the different zone results. We can also generate report, which will include every important information regarding the daylight factor result for the zone. The report has an inbuilt feature where you can check if the zone complies with the European norm or the active house specifications. First, select a country and choose either EN17037 or Active House. From here, we can check to see if our zone complies with the minimum requirement in EN17037 as well as the expected mean and median LUX level. There is a new feature available in Velux Daylight Visualizer which allows the user to easily update his or her Daylight Visualizer project. Let's say we made changes to our Revit model and added roller blinds. Now there is no need to re-import the model and reapply all the surface materials. Simply re-export the Revit file. Make sure your Velux Daylight Visualizer file is saved. Then go to File and choose Update Project. Then select the DWG file. Velux Daylight Visualizer will then automatically detect any changes to your model and update the project accordingly. This concludes our tutorial on how to prepare a Revit model for use in Velux Daylight Visualizer. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Velux Building Simulation Tools, for more tutorials and updates.